Hey world, what's up? It's PSZSN here. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial, actually. This is a requested tutorial um, on the iPod Nano calendars. Um, here is the request. I have pulled it up on here. Oh, one thing I do want you guys to see really quick. You notice that my background here says um, P Pizza Science 1 at yahoo.com. This is a um, um, a Yahoo account that I have created and it is specifically meant for um, iPod related um, requests, whatever. Like, I'm going to use this like as a, um, I don't know, this is just something that you guys can send requests to. It doesn't actually have to be iPod related, just if you absolutely must, you can send those requests to that account. And I have it set up as my main account on my iPod Touch, so that way it will be sent over there. Anyway, here is the request. Alright. iPod Nano 4th Generation Calendar. Please create and upload a tutorial. Please create... Wait. Okay. Please create and upload a tutorial on how to make a calendar for the iPod Nano 4th generation. Well, and this is sent to us by Homework Helper 1. Now, Homework Helper 1, I don't know if you paid exactly uh, enough attention on my first, uh, on my how to put notes on your iPod, but as I said, the 4th generation does not belong to me. That is my sister's. This is the family one. That's why I use this. So I'm going to be doing it with this because I'm not going to touch her iPod because she will probably get very mad at me. So I'm going to be using this in the tutorial. So um, just try this method. If it doesn't work, I will figure something out, okay? But at least try this method. So, oh crap, don't put that on the screen. Um, let's do this. Okay, so the things you're going to need is an iPod Nano whatever generation. It can be an iPod Nano 2nd, 3rd, or 4th. I'm not so sure if this works on 1st generation. Um, of course, I'm not sure if it works on any of the other generations, too. Or you can use an iPod Classic. Basically, any iPod with a click wheel. iPod Touch, you really don't need the iPod Touch. However, well, I mean, if you have an iPod Touch, you can create a uh, calendar um, thingies straight from it. And you're also going to need a sync cable and a uh, computer. With, um, if you're using a PC, it needs to have some like Microsoft Outlook, which is that email program. It's also like your contact and calendar and everything. If you're on a Mac, you're going to want to use iCal. And I don't know how you're going to do this on iCal because I have a PC. But we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. So let's do this. Okay. Ooh. Bump the tripod there. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, this is going to have to be the view you're going to have to live with because we do have a new monitor-ish monitor, newish monitor, um, and this one does not come equipped with its very own microphone, so I don't have a microphone to work with. Um, if this is really, really, really bad for you people, like, you cannot just, you just can't follow along very well, um, I will try and invest in a cheap little microphone that should do the job. So, without further ado, what's first of all going to do is you're going to plug the iPod Nano or iPod whatever into the thing. Alright, and it'll say do not disconnect and it will open up iTunes. Okay, so here we are in the iTunes thingamabob. We are going to go ahead and um, Okay, I'm trying not to get in the way. I think it's under, yep, here it is, calendars. It's going to check sync calendars from Microsoft Outlook. Outlook, uh, whatever. Okay, whatever. So just, and for some reason, Microsoft Outlook will go ahead and open for you. Um, very convenient indeed. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, and down here on the, um, this little pan here, I'm using, by the way, Microsoft Outlook 2003. You're going to click the calendar thing, and you can just create any calendar entry you want. 
I'm really not that good with this program because I never really use it. These are all the calendars I have on my iPod Touch that I sync to it. In case you're wondering. We're just going to focus with, I guess, the basic calendar. I guess we just double click something. Actually, no, we're not going to do it the, today. We're just going to do it... We're going to say on the 14th. Um, at... What is this? Are these... A, yeah, at maybe 3 o'clock p.m. There, this little, little form will come up. You can fill out this form whenever you want. We will say that there will be a... Um, I really have no idea. A poop fest. Ha ha ha, yes, a poop fest. And the location will be the toilet. Because, I mean, where else do you store poop? Actually, you store poop in the sewer. This is actually really nasty. Yeah. Okay, and the label. You can give the label, we'll just do it, a must attend. No, 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 no. Let's see if there's anything even better. Like a... Yes, a must attend. Because you have to attend the poop fest. Okay, start time. We... The end time will be, um... Leave the start time alone, because you can set that when you're even... Well, before you even create the thing. We will say it lasts for five hours. That is pretty good. So, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, reminder, 15 minutes before, or whatever the heck. Show time as... I actually have no idea what these mean. Um, and this here, I'm assuming, is notes for you to put down. You have... Oops. You have to attend to this. Okay. Um, save and close, I guess. So... Okay, and we've just created, yeah, look at that. There it is. We have created a little tiny thingamabob. That is for this thing, the poop fest. Okay, now let's just go ahead and open back up iTunes. We will go ahead and just sync it with all calendars, I suppose. Hit apply. And this will start syncing that um, entry that we made with the thing. we will say syncing iPod, do not disconnect. It'll say syncing that with... Yeah, um, whatever your iPod's name is. Okay, so we're done with that. We can go ahead and eject the iPod. And let's go ahead and close out of everything, because we are done with the computer. I could, yes. Um, go ahead and disconnect the iPod. Alright, let's go ahead and see how this looks. Sorry. Alright, sorry about... Oh, they, there you go. I actually have never really done this before, so I have no idea how this will look. But the way you get to your calendar is you go into Extras, and then click on Calendar, which you can see right there. And let's go ahead and hit All. And there's something on the 14th. You'll notice there's a small flag next to it. If we click on it, it says... At 3 p.m., the Boop Fest! And then here it shows you all the details about it. The summary, Boop Fest. <laughs> uh, sorry. Date, 14th of June, 2009. Time, 3 p.m. Location, sewer. Notes, you have to attend to this. So, that is how you put calendars on. And let's say you want to delete this. Um, of course you're going to want to delete this if you want to forget about it and not attend. Um, I think what you're going to have to do is just sync it back up to iTunes and open back up Microsoft Outlook, delete this calendar in Microsoft Outlook, and then you will... Oh, wow, my battery turned red. And then you will go ahead and just sync it back up, and it should be, go it should be gone. But that is how you... Add calendars to your iPod Nano. Hopefully this helped, and thanks for the request, Homework Helper. This should help some people out in case they're wondering what to do. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and goodbye.